You should remember binomial expansion from your AS work from last year where you did things like this. So you had um, 2x plus sorry 2 plus 5x to the power of 4 and you needed to expand that. So the pattern went like this. So you've got your first term to the power of 4, um, then you've got 4 choose 1, 2 cubed, 5x, 4 choose 2, 2 squared, 5x squared, and so on. You just follow that pattern all the way along. Um, you can find a video on that if you can't remember how to do that. Just look it up in the AS section of, of videos. Okay, so the general rule worked as long as um, our power was a natural number, meaning 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. What about if it's not a natural number? We're going to have a look at what to do in this situation. So you need to remember that the formula for NCR is n factorial over r factorial n minus r factorial. We're going to use it um, in its full form to be able to work out what happens with um, negative numbers, negative powers and fractional powers um, since your calculator can't cope with putting them into the NCR um, button. So something like this. So if we follow what we've done before, we'll do 1 to the power of minus 3. Then we would use our NCR factorial, so it'd be um, minus 3 factorial over 1 factorial minus 4 factorial, since n, n is minus 3. R on this one is the count of 1, um, so minus 3 minus 1 gives us that minus 4 there on the bottom. Then we would next go to minus 3 factorial over... 2 factorial, our, our count is now 2, and minus 3 minus 2 is minus 5. Then on your next term, your r is at 3, so you've got 3 factorial minus 6 factorial on the bottom, and so on. Now if we tidy up that a little bit, we can think about what this actually means. So minus 3 factorial, that's minus 3 times minus 4 times minus 5, and you can see it will carry on forever. But we can simplify it a little with the bottom. So the bottom, 1 factorial is just 1. Minus 4 factorial carries on, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, and so on, but that clearly cancels with the top part of that, so we end up with minus 3 over 1 times x. Now we can do a similar thing with the next one, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, and so on. The minus 5 part of it will cancel out since you have the minus 5 factorial on the bottom. And then the same with the last term looks like this. Okay. So if we tidy that up, this is what it looks like. Now we had restrictions on it last year, we have restrictions on it this year as well. This is only valid um, if the modulus of x is less than 1, because those um, higher powers of x, they need to become insignificant for us to be able to ignore them. So like the 10x cubed, and then whatever comes next as x to the power of 4, and so on. So the general formula looks like this. And that's how it is on your formula sheet for you to be able to use it. So what about if it doesn't start with a 1? if we've got something like 2 plus x to the minus 4. We just need to do a bit of algebra on it. So we can rearrange that to be, um, if we take the 2 out of that bracket, but not sort out the minus 4 bit yet. Um, so you can factorise that 2 plus x into a 2 brackets 1 plus x over 2, and then just get rid of those square brackets by doing everything to the power of minus 4. So now we can complete that expansion on the, the bracket 1 plus x over 2 because it's in the form that we want it to be, of 1 plus something to a power. So leave that 2 to the minus 4 on the outside and go ahead and do the expansion. Just using the formula that's up above in the red box. And then it's just a matter of tidying things up. And then we also have to state when this is valid. So this is valid when the modulus of that second part of the bracket is less than 1. Well, the second part of the bracket in this case, once we rearranged it into the form we could use, was x over 2. So this is valid when the modulus of x over 2 is less than 1. OK, now I've shown you two examples whilst explaining. So let me just show you a third one. This is where you have a fraction in your power. In fact, we've got a negative fractional power with this one. So, 
using our formula looks like this. Now when you're asked to do this in a question you'll be asked to go up to a certain number of powers or um, perhaps turn it into a quadratic approximation or something like that so you know when to stop. So if we tidy this up it looks like this and we'll state that it's valid when the second part of that bracket the modulus of it is less than 1 so the 2t modulus has to be less than 1 therefore the modulus of t will be less than a half.